Vice Chair Thomas, members of the committee, ranking member. My name is John Stover and I'm the president of Ohio Value Voters. Our organization promotes the values of faith, life, families, and religious freedom. Since 2007, our purpose has been to educate, inform, and influence voters and elected officials in Ohio. We are independent of any political party, religious organization, or political action committee. Ohio Value Voters is a registered 501c4 organization. Our organization, Mr. Chairman, is in support of Senate Bill 92 and House Bill 144 and urges the committee to pass these bills for a vote by the full House. Amending Ohio's Constitution should not be subject to special interest groups that have deep pockets and the ability to finance a campaign where, whereby only a 50 percent threshold is a requirement. In 2009, as was made reference to earlier, millions of dollars were spent by the gambling industry to amend Ohio's Constitution for casino gambling. This passed with 53 percent of the vote. Now we have another, potentially, now we have another special interest group that will funnel monies into Ohio from the entire nation. That organization is Planned Parenthood and its affiliates. Our founding fathers provided a means to amend the United States Constitution found within Article 5. It was determined that amending may be a requirement for our country after acceptance of the Constitution and the ratification of our Constitution here in the nation. But it would require a supermajority of votes within the United States House and Senate or ratification by the states. A 60 percent threshold to amending Ohio's Constitution should be a requirement for the state of Ohio. The people of the states should have the right to vote upon this 60 percent threshold. Florida currently has, Mr. Chairman, a 60 percent threshold. People have the right to vote. Ohio value voters, we talked about turnout for a special election. I can assure you that Ohio value voters will work diligently to turn out the vote. In any given election, Mr. Chairman, we are, uh, have the ability to reach hundreds of thousands of people in the state of Ohio, which we certainly plan on doing. So once again, I would, therefore, Ohio Value Voters urges the Governmental Oversight Committee to pass these bills out of committee for a floor vote by the entire House. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I'd be happy to answer any questions the committee may have. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. And uh, we didn't just wander over into another bill. We uh, spent a lot of time <laughs> in it. Um, uh, so uh, here we are. I <laughs> uh, appreciate uh, the questions for the witness. And uh, uh, please, as best we can, keep them to the August election piece of this bill. Representative, yeah. Representative Forehand is going to take a shot at it. Thank you. Representative, Representative Miranda, go with the question. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Peterson. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying. I just want you to know I'm giving it a valiant effort. But, you know, when you put religious freedom before a committee like this one, when we have so many bills, four to be exact, that are looking to literally stifle that uh, from the voters, it's, it's hard to swallow. So. I guess my question for you is, some that I've asked before, do you let your neighbors make decisions, medical decisions for your children? Mr. Chairman. The, the witness may respond if you'd like. I mean, I'm trying, Mr. Uh, uh, Chairman. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, I have no answer for that. That has nothing to do with the... Uh, Two bills that were I, I would beg to differ through the chairman to the witness. It has everything to do with this. Everything. It has been said multiple times in this committee, in the Constitutional Resolutions Committee, by many, many different folks that were testifying. And I shouldn't say many because it's actually the minority of folks testifying. And they all have a religious affiliation. And I'm here to tell you and stand very firm in the fact that not all religions believe in the same kind of medical, reproductive medical care that you do. And I don't think it's fair to instruct a minority rule in a state and have you and the folks in your religious affiliation tell your neighbors who might be of the Jewish faith or any other what they can and cannot do with their bodies or their children's health, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I don't know how we can separate the two, Mr. Chairman. I am trying very, very hard. Um, but, you know, there, there is many, many questions in there, and I would just ask for some kind of answer for that, because this is a country based upon religious freedom, and I certainly don't want to see that deteriorate here in Ohio. 
I, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate everybody's uh, trying to walk a, a line, stay on the topic. Uh, the witness may respond yes, if he wants or may not. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, if uh, this was a uh, another committee, another subject matter, I would uh, be more than happy to engage the state rep in a number of matters relative to where it appears that she would like to take this. But I, seeing, you're, seeing, you're seeing I believe there will be opportunity there, uh, later in the week or next week, so right, in a separate you. committee that the uh, representative serves on. Thank representative Golonsky with a question. Thank you to the chair and thank you to the witness for being here today. Would you remind me and the remain and all of the Ohioans who are watching here today, what is the reason that you are for the August uh, election? Mr. Chairman, Representative, I was actually for the August election back in 2008, prior to the casino gambling uh, petition of uh, the. Uh, petition initiative by uh, special interest groups. I was for it last year, bringing this forward and giving the people of the state of Ohio the opportunity to make the decision regarding our Constitution. I firmly believe that it should be difficult to amend Ohio's Constitution from any organization, whether it's an organization, Mr. Chairman, like ours, Planned Parenthood, the gambling industry from out of state, I believe it should be a very difficult document to amend. Follow up, follow chair. up. Thank you to the chair and to the witness. But specifically, though, why an August election? Why not a November election? You, it seems like in your testimony that you stated you're here about issues. You're here about making sure um, that the Constitution of Ohio reads a certain way. So what does that have to do with the date of when voters would be allowed to make the decision? What would be the difference for you between August and November, or even May? Mr. Chairman. Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Speaking for uh, the organization and myself personally, I was in favor of a May ballot initiative. That did not happen. So subsequently, our organization now is in support of a special election in August. And uh, if August does not happen uh, because of the decision by the House and Senate, and this is not passed, then we will look at whether, what other opportunities we may have to place this on the ballot. Just follow final follow-up, please, follow up. your chair, and to the witness. So it sounds like then you would support this being on the November ballot if for whatever reason your goals aren't achieved for August. Is that accurate? That would be something that we would certainly consider, yes. And it truly is I'm my sorry, final follow-up through the chair. That would be something we would consider. Follow up. My final follow-up through the chair then is why not just wait till next August? Mr. Chair, that is the question that we have before the House and Senate. The Senate has already made that decision and the House will in fact make the decision, I'm sure, relatively soon. Let me get one. I want to get one. Brown with a question. Thank you, Chair. Sir, I, th this question is a general question about elections. Uh, August special elections are included within that subset, so it's a fair question. Do you believe that 40.01% of voters should be able to dictate to 59.99% of voters what the constitutional law of Ohio should be? Mr. Chairman. Proceed. Mr. Chairman, as uh, was stated earlier to the uh, committee, uh, our organization will do everything within our power to see that we have an appropriate turnout for any special election as we do, Mr. Chairman, for a primary, for general election. We are definitely going to do our part to see that we have the, uh, the turnout that we would normally have in a November election. However, if we do not, that is the prerogative of the electorate in the state of Ohio. Representative Miranda with a question. 
Thank you, Chairman Peterson. I make a motion to move to postpone House Bill 144 and Senate Bill 92 indefinitely from this committee. Second. The House will, our standardies, committee will standardies. 